All right, hey, he's Mega here, and we're here at Metcalf Motorcycle Park, and we're gonna be riding the Sauron Light V today, okay? So uh, it's changed quite a bit since the last time we came here. So we're gonna do some off-road tests, mainly with the KO Moto factory spec controller and motor, all right? So we're gonna go test these bad boys out on the dirt, see how they do. Um, yeah, so excited. Uh, I know I'm kind of, I, I don't like that I don't have a uh, regen throttle. I've also did a, a service on my fork, so we're kind of testing that out. And then uh, I changed the front brake pad, so I'm testing that out. I know there's a lot of things to test out, guys. <laughs> I've got this, I, I, I didn't have this the last time I was here, but hopefully we won't get a chance to test that out. That's a, that's a rotor protector. And I just installed these Bill Faro um, foot pegs, all right? The Bill Faro, all the Bill Faro goodies, man. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of I'm, I'm, I want to see if these can handle uh, off-road abuses so let's say so we're gonna put it through its paces they look really nice they're brand new I haven't I haven't even put my feet on them yet okay um, but yeah they're all CNC aluminum construction um, let's see how it holds up compared to these stock stuff okay so all right so say. one thing I noticed when I came up here is that I've got uh, my moto jack rack it uses the foot pegs to secure the bike if my foot peg broke broke off or something like i jumped it too hard and it broke i've never had that problem before guys um i wouldn't be able to put it on this stand all right i would have to strap it down somehow <laughs> okay that would be really dangerous so i hopefully not both of them break off because then then there's no way i would be able to get it on this thing <laughs> all right so hopefully they don't break or anything that's what I'm worried about. All right, but uh, yeah, that's why we're out here testing it today. I should have brought my stock ones. Okay, um, so I've got the bike set up to about, man, I can't remember, I think five something, I think 550. I have it set up to 550 uh, uh, phase amps and 280 uh, DC current, all right? So uh, we'll see how that is. Um, I don't, I generally, I don't like to have a lot of power off-road. The only time I need a lot of power is when I go up hills, all right? That's the only time I need a lot of power, all right? Other than that, I don't really need it, all right? Um, I, I would value a smooth throttle, <laughs> okay? So well, that's what we'll be testing out today, okay? And then I've got a fully charged battery, um, light speed bikes, uh, 32 amp hour, 21700 battery pack, okay? I'll be testing that out. I'll have my GPS on me so I can get some speeds and, and uh, mainly to, um, to note uh, our range, all right, and we're gonna get our range figures because um, I'm still kind of up in the air how the range is. Uh, we'll see how it is off road. This bike used to do 20 miles of off road range, all right, but new controller, it it behaves differently than the BAC, you know, and the and the region and all that stuff. So okay, so all right, let's uh, let's download the bike, get my gear on, and hit the trails. All right, all right, he's Mega here, and we're gonna go do some quick warm ups. Um, after I get my GPS all set up here, I got my GPS so we can get uh, track to how many miles we've ridden basically. Other than that, I don't really need it. Okay, so I've set the bike to 550 phase amps and uh, 280 line amps, alright? Um, I don't like to have a lot of power riding off road, alright? Alright, here we go. Right, we're in sport mode right now. Oh, the motocross track is closed. Oh, what? Why is it closed? Well, that's a bummer. Maybe it's too muddy. So this is just after it rained, guys. Well, it's kind of like two days after it's rained. So we'll see what the trails look like. I guess the only warm up we'll be able to do and the only motocross we'll be doing is the main motocross track, baby. You can see there, I was in the dead band area where, like, there's a little bit of throttle and not, you know, thing. So, let's see how it is on this kind of trial stuff here. It doesn't have enough power to spin the tires, man. Yeah. There's probably just a lot of grip today, man. Holy crap, man. When I went wide open,
happens at all, dude, it freaking climb that thing like easily. All right, let's do the small circle. When you lay into it, man, it's got a lot of power. Maybe I want a more sensitive throttle. Uh, yeah, more, more sensitive throttle on this stuff. I feel like I just want to blip it so I can get the front up, you know, and it's not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I want a more sensitive throttle. I might want to turn the throttle sensitivity up. Some slow speed riding here. Looks okay. Pretty good at these settings. Let's go this one. Yeah, it takes a while for the throttle. It takes a while for the power to come in, all right? All right, now that we've got a little warm up, let's go head on and we'll hit trail one since we can't go up the motocross track. All right. Yeah, I think I, I wanna set it more sensitive. It's just not, it's not getting, the, the front's not popping up like I want it to. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna make the throttle more sensitive. Okay, I got my phone here so we can do some tuning while we're out here too. So. Okay, right now I got throttle sensitivity turned to 110 and then uh, our starting point is at 9. Let's turn that down to 8 or 7%. Okay, that's fine. It goes in two increments. And then we'll turn the throttle sensitivity up to like 130. Okay, so. So as you can see, the, the settings for... The settings for the dirt are different than the settings for the uh, for the street. <laughs> He's mega likes it different ways. That's what I want to say. Oh, I I need a more abrupt throttle so I can get that front up, you know. And I'm not getting that. See, it's still slow, man. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Maybe we need to turn the the current up. We're at 550. That's it's pretty, that's like BSC 4000 territory, so. All right, here we go. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! It definitely behaves differently to the BSC controller. but I don't think we'll... It's definitely very good at climbing hills. <laughs> okay, we'll stop here for a picture break. I'll tell you, give my impressions of that section of uh, trail one. <laughs> so the bike is doing this, mm, 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 this back and forth, back and forth thing. I, I don't like it. Um, it's the regen, all right? So uh, when I get off the regen, it, it it jerks uh, it jerks forward, then I get on the throttle, it jerks back. I'm kind of in that area where it does that. Um, so I got to kind of figure out how to tune that out. It's kind of annoying. It it's really fast. It's really really fast in the uh, the early um, the lower R. It's really fast in the mid RPM and upper RPM, but in the lower RPM, there's not enough torque. So I think I'm gonna. I think I want to um, make a more linear curve is what I want, actually, it's what I want. I, it kind of, it picks up, man. It's like a turbocharger kicks in and just takes off. Uh, but when I, when I give it throttle, it's not the power that I'm expecting out of it. All right. Okay, so I've set on the app in the advanced setting for the uh, power, as I want pretty much the same standstill phase current and the same top speed phase current, all right, 550 amps. 
I want to get that power sooner, all right? So um, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. All right, hopefully they'll do the trick. Okay, I hit save. Let's go for a ride. On the last half of uh, one, I hate this tuning, man. I, this bike was running so good with the BSC controller, and now I have to do this again. I'm not happy with the way it's running, so. I mean, could I ride it like this? Yeah, probably, you know. It's just not like it used to be, you know. He's make it a creature of habit. <laughs> All right, we're at, uh, I think the controller was about almost a quarter, I mean, the battery was at a quarter, um, heat, all right, I don't, it's about 50-something degrees out here today, guys, because, uh, when I drove up here in the RAV4, hey, it's a rabbit, a jackrabbit, it's still not very, uh, sudden, all right, yeah, see, the faster you go, the more, thing it is, you know? It is fast, though. holy moly. I'm afraid to hold it wide open, you know. It's either I get a lot of power or just a little bit of power. See, I can't, I don't have enough power to pop the front up. It's, it's, it makes it hard. Um, I like the, the tuning on the BSC controller better. All right, well, let's take a, let's take a rip around the, uh, motocross track. All right, he's making it here. We just got done doing trail one warm up, and then we're gonna go on to the motocross track. Yeah. We'll see how this does there with these settings. Uh, so I made it so it's more more power at the lower RPMs. All right, we'll, we'll test it out on the motocross track. I think maybe the region is too strong for off-road. Oh, I keep on letting off the throttle, man.
Thanks, Omega. It's too soft. I think I need to stiffen up the suspension. We're blowing through the stroke big time. around but guys <laughs> it's tough the region is so strong when I let off of it the bike just nose dives um, I, I don't want region when I launch it uh, so I got to keep the throttle pin but it's a lot, a lot of power it's more power than I need I can't get it open all the way so I might turn the phase amps down Cause I can't use all that power. Hades Mega can, I'm not that good. All right, let's go back to, uh, let's get a, let's get, let me get a, do a water break and then we'll hit trail two. Oh, lots of bikes coming in. Oh man, it's two laps on that track, man. It's rough. The suspension is too soft. Maybe it'll be okay on the trails. Uh, for motocross, for the jumps and stuff, I definitely want it stiffer. All right, the track is pretty smooth, so we don't really need it to thing, all right? All right, so here's some info. We hit 41 miles an hour somewhere on trail one or, or on the motocross track. I doubt it we did it on the motocross track. We've ridden four miles so far, and we're at 83% charge or 80 volts, all right? So how many? Four miles? So we got like 15 left to go. All right, oh man, my hand is hurting. Oh, ouch. I was gripping those bars hard, dude. It, um, it's rough, man. Uh, yeah, 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 so here's some of my impressions of riding it on the motocross track. Like I said, when, um, when you let off the throttle, it regens a lot. I have a lot of regen programmed into there, you know, and before I didn't have to worry about the, the amount of regen letting off the throttle because, um, Oh, my hands are hurting a lot, man. It's okay, man. It's a easy day, man. We're not racing or anything. Uh, yeah. So when you when you going off, when I'm going off the jump, I gotta I gotta keep the throttle open more, you know. But uh, 
But the throttle is like it's so powerful. Like uh, when you get back on it and you're moving, it gives a lot of power. But when you're not moving from zero RPM, it just doesn't have any power. It's not like the BAC controller. You get like instant torque. This doesn't do that. So I think that's because of um, what is that called? Oh, I forgot. Uh, there's something it's called that the sensorless. It operates in sensorless mode at the lower RPM, so you have higher torque, and then it transfers it to the sensor mode. So, that's what I'm going to say. And I don't know if this controller does that. It doesn't seem like it does, because there's, like, no power right off the throttle. Uh, I don't know how I can tune that, but but there is there is a lot of power. When you hit that power band, dude, it goes. But not from, like, zero RPM, man. I, I feel like I might need a bigger sprocket and just turn the power down, you know? Um, it's, it's a handful to ride like this, man. I might want to turn the power down more. Yeah, I don't know if I want to turn the power up or down, you know. It, it's tough, man. I I, uh, I keep on comparing it to the BAC controller, and I just, you know, I, I, I just feel the BAC controller felt better, you know, type of thing. It was tuned better. I just got so used to using that for so long. All right, okay, so uh, I'm going to take a break, and then we're going to hit trail two. We'll, hit some, we'll do some single track and stuff, and we'll see how the bike is, all right? I don't know if I want to turn it down, the power down or not. Let's check how hot the motor is, since I got my phone with me. The motor and controller. Motor temp is almost half. Controller temp is, I don't know, maybe like 15% or something, okay? That's all I got to go off of. All right. 